Top Russian general vowed that his country will destroy the NATO military alliance by 2030. Top Russian general Apti Alodinov, commander of Chechen forces fighting in Ukraine and an ally of President Vladimir Putin, has vowed that his country will destroy the NATO military alliance by 2030, according to Newsweek. Alodinov, who was appointed as deputy of the main directorate for military and political work at the defense ministry by Putin, made the remarks during a state TV broadcast where he spoke to Olga Skabeeva, co-host of 60 Minutes on channel Rossiya One. An excerpt of his appearance was shared on X by Anton Gerashchenko, a former advisor to Ukraine's Minister of Internal Affairs. Russian officials have regularly floated the possibility that Russia could strike NATO members in response to the aid and weapons they've provided Ukraine in the ongoing war. Apti Olodinov, Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov's closest ally, recently appointed to a position in the Russian Defense Ministry, tells Russian propagandist Skabeeva that Russia will wage a war for the rest of the decade and intends to destroy NATO. Gerashchenko wrote, Russia will win in this special military operation and on all other battlefields. Alodinov told Skabeeva, using the term adopted by the Kremlin to describe the war in Ukraine, which began with Russia's invasion on February the 24th, 2022. Yes, we will have to work hard until 2029 to 2030, but I can assure you that the outcome of this special military operation will be that the NATO bloc will cease to exist in the format in which it exists today, he said. Most of those states who today are running after America like mutts will kneel down and swear an oath to Russia, asking to be accepted into our coalition. Alodinov was named by Russian investigative newspaper Novaya Gazeta as a potential successor to Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov, who is reported to have been diagnosed with necrotizing pancreatitis five years ago. News of the illness of Kadyrov has promoted the Kremlin to look for his successor, the publication reported. U.S. long-range missiles shipped to Ukraine will cause Putin problems in war. Long-range ballistic missiles secretly shipped to Ukraine and which are included in the 61 billion U.S. dollar aid package will cause Putin problems in his war, having already been used to strike Russian targets in occupied territory, according to iNews media outlet. Jake Sullivan, the White House National Security Advisor, confirmed that the U.S. had already provided Army Tactical Missile Systems, ATACMS, to Ukraine, following earlier reports that the U.S. had sent them in secret last month. Ukraine fired the long-range ballistic missiles at a Russian military airfield in occupied Crimea last week and at Russian troops in another occupied area this week. Justin Crump, a former British Army officer who runs risk intelligence company Sibyline told iNews, These systems are tactical ballistic, which are designed to strike well behind the battlefield against air defense locations, troops or enemy equipment with a precise, impactful punch. 
This will create a major problem for Russia. Anything from 300 kilometers within the front line is a potential target. Russia will have to defend a much larger area with their own air defense system, he added. However, questions remain as to whether the US will grant Ukraine permission to use the missiles against Russian territory, with some officials concerned that firing missiles into Russia risks escalating the war. Crump said the caveat over this may be that they cannot be used against Russia inside their own territory, but that this would be likely to remain private to keep the Russians guessing. According to the bill, the transfer of long-range ATA CMS is to take place soon as practicable to assist the government of Ukraine in defending itself and achieving victory against the Russian Federation. While the text remains ambiguous as to whether Ukraine can strike inside territory, Lawrence Friedman, a professor of war studies at King's College London, told iNews he expected Ukrainians would agree not to use ATA CMS missiles against Russian territory, adding that President Biden had been nervous about sending them in the past. Admiral Christopher Grady, vice chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, said the White House and military planners had examined the risks of providing long-range missiles to Ukraine and determined that now the time is right. The missiles would help Ukraine take out Russian logistics nodes and troop concentrations that are far behind the front lines, he added.